Good morning guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, starting a new week of what I packed my husband for lunch. Today is Monday and I'm getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler, so I wanted to share with you guys what was going in today. So I have a Dr. Pepper, one of the Naked um, Mango Madness. This flavor is really good and actually my son recently um, tried one of these for the first time and he actually liked it. He drank about half of it. So I might see if I can pick up like a multi-pack of different flavors, but regardless the mango ones are really good. Uh, the sandwich here is on like this little seeded roll. It's got some smoked ham, some pepper jack cheese, some romaine, and some spicy mustard. A Nutri-Grain apple cinnamon bar, and then one of these Hormel Natural Choice um, uncured salami and cheddar. It's like crackers, cheddar, and salami. And I think I might throw in either a banana or an orange. Um, and also, as always, every day I pack him the water cooler. And then this is the regular cooler that we pack, um, that I pack the actual lunch in. And everything fits, um, no problem. I've shown you guys a few times, like, clips of me putting everything in, as long as stuff is on the ice pack. Um, although this time of year, to be honest, I probably don't really need one. I just do it kind of of habit because um, I really like his drinks to be extra cold but yeah it's I think today is going to be like a high of 20 so it's going to be really cold but anyways I kind of do it this way and then just configure everything depending on the day but yeah this is lunch today and we'll see you tomorrow. Morning guys, it's Tuesday and I'm getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler. Today I'm giving him this Bolt House Farms mocha cappuccino, um, like chilled coffee drink I guess. A little grape soda from the Wellesley Farm brand by BJ's. The sandwich I tried to give you guys a sneak peek of, it's like a everything bagel and it has some romaine, some Swiss, um, and has some pesto aioli from Terrapin Ridge. Um, I did get this one at TJ Maxx. Uh, but I will leave their website below. It's just terrapinridge.com. Um, that has, you know, all their items. But every every once in a while, I find some at TJ Maxx. Um, on here, I also have some hard salami and some sandwich pepperoni um, underneath all the lettuce. I have some celery sticks that are cut up with some creamy peanut butter dip to dip in. A Kirkland um, nut bar, almond, cashew, and walnut with a dark chocolate drizzle and then a cheese stick. So looks pretty good. Again, I'll link this um, company website below because I get a lot of questions about the aiolis. But yeah, this is his lunch today, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. guys it's Wednesday and I'm getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler today I'm giving him an Arnold Palmer iced tea lemonade one of the naked uh, these are the protein this is a protein tropical blend um, and it has I'm trying to find what it has in it to show you guys it has two and a half apples one banana ha uh, a third of an orange part of a pineapple coconut milk uh, and has soy and whey protein. It says it has 30 grams of protein. Uh, and of course, as always, the water cooler. The wrap you guys saw me make um, on the rosemary and olive oil mission wrap. Um, I get a lot of questions about these. I get them at Walmart, either near the deli section, like the deli counter, or right in the bread aisle. Um, I never have problems finding them. I don't know if they're just a regional thing because I know some of you guys have not been able to find them. Um, but I would encourage you to just check your bread or deli area, even if it's not this brand, just to check out what kind of wraps they have because any would really work um, to make a wrap. So on the wrap, I've got sandwich pepperoni, hard salami, Swiss cheese, and spicy mustard with romaine lettuce. I did put a pickle spear. I just opened a new jar of pickles. This is just the Hannaford brand. 
um, pickled like dill spears, so I have that. A cheese stick, some beef jerky in the teriyaki flavor from Oscar's Smokehouse uh, up in Warrensburg, New York. And then two of the Trader Joe's uh, maple sandwich cookies, which are really, really good. Highly recommend these if you go to Trader Joe's. Let me go ahead and grab the box and show you what it looks like really quick. All right, guys, so I thought these were a seasonal thing when I first discovered them in the fall, but it turns out that they are a year-round like product there, um, which is great because I can get them anytime I want. But I would highly recommend these. They're not too sweet. Obviously, if you don't like maple filling, you won't like them. Um, but they just have like a really natural maple flavor, um, but they're not like sickeningly sweet. And they are um, substantially sized, like they're bigger than an Oreo, so I can have like two every once in a while. And I feel satisfied rather than eating, you know, a whole sleeve of them. But anyways, this is Matt's lunch today, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday, and I'm getting ready to pack up Matt's work cooler. Today I'm giving him a Gatorade in the Tidal Punch flavor, and a grape soda, and of course, as always, the water cooler. Um, these are the last of the eggy muffins I made Sunday um, afternoon. They are um, meat and veggies and cheese. And then there is some everything but the bagel seasoning sprinkled on top. Um, Matt does like these room temperature, um, but today he actually happens to be working in a location where he can use a microwave, um, like for sure. So I'm packing him the last of the muffins. I felt like four, and these are the smallest of the, you know, the batch that I made, is pretty equivalent to like a sandwich. Um, so it might look like a lot, but they're not really all that big. Um, so he'll heat those up for lunch. I also gave him some jumbo olives. These things are huge jumbo black olives. And then I'm giving him a kind bar um, in the caramel, almond, and sea salt flavor. I absolutely love these. And then a little sweet treat of um, a little pack of Oreos. I do have some videos on some ver different versions of these. I do vary the ingredients every time because I try to use up what's in my produce meat and cheese drawer, but um, I will link whatever videos I have on egg, my egg muffins down below in the description box. You can also check out my food and meal prep video playlist if you want to see different versions of these because I do share these all the time um, in those videos. But anyways, this is lunch today, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, guys, I wanted to hop on really quick and mention something before I move on to Friday's lunch clip. I do get a lot of questions still about how to access my playlist. You would just go to my main page and click on the playlist tab at the top, and that will bring you to all of the playlists that I have. For example, if you did want to check out my lunch playlists, I do have 72 videos in that playlist from over the years, and then you would either click on play all or you could click view, view full playlist, and that will bring you to all of my lunch specific lunch videos from over the years. And you can do the same thing with any other particular type of video that you're looking to find. So just wanted to mention that to clear it up and let's move on now to Friday's lunch clip. Hey guys, it's Friday. We made it to the end of the work week. Today I'm packing Matt up a vanilla cream soda and Arnold Palmer half and half iced tea lemonade. The um, like garbage bread or pizza bread that my mom makes. Um, she actually made some for my birthday and made me some extra so I uh, cooked that off and have some I actually have a bunch left for that I'm gonna have some for lunch today um, so that she made two kinds there's a spinach and sun-dried tomato with cheese and then there's the sausage um, peppers and cheese one as well so I'm packing that three of the larger pieces of it um, obviously it's good right out of the oven but it's also good um, room temperature or cold I eat it cold right out of the fridge it's really good um, I'm also giving him a Hormel Natural Choice chicken cheddar and uh, chocolate covered almonds, little snack pack, so the last of the jumbo black olives. These things are massive. And then this is the um, Archer Farms Monster Mix. If you've never tried it, it's really good. Um, it looks like this. It's from Target. It's definitely one of my favorite things to get from there. Um, again, it's just called the Monster Mix, and it has... Uh, peanuts, M&M's, raisins, chocolate chips, and peanut butter chips. Um, it's definitely a sweeter mix. Um, another thing my mom does is mixes this with just plain old regular salted mixed nuts, and it makes it a little bit less sweet. So that's just an option too, but I really love this, and um, I find that it's just really universal for kids. 
But anyways, this is what he is having for lunch today. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's What's for Lunch. Mm -hmm.